Because I was filming that. Turns out I don't know how to put it that would be a basic skill, but nope. It is April 13th, um, and we are in quarantine, and, um, you know what people do when they're in quarantine? They cut their own hair, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. I'm not actually being crazy, this is more of an experiment. I want to see um, because I really like, I got my hair cut back in December, and it was up here, and it was like just long enough to be put in a ponytail, and it's grown out, um, probably a couple inches since then. I want to try cutting it myself, because I figure I'm not going to be seeing anybody for at least the rest of this month, besides, like, my dad and some people on FaceTime, or, um, not FaceTime, I have Android, I don't get FaceTime, um, Zoom, because Zoom has taken over the world. Um, and they won't be able to notice it, so I figure if I do botch it, it should have enough time to grow out to where I could go in and get it properly trimmed. Or just the, the curls would cover it up, because that's the one thing is that my hair is curly, so it's, if it's a bit uneven, you can't really see. And so I washed it. Hopefully it's more or less at prime curl. I did have to put it up in a ponytail earlier, so that's less than ideal for getting the lengths just right, but I'm not going to try and go super chin length, I just want to get a bit close, so I thought why not bring you guys along for a little bit. So I'm going to go move into the bathroom and find my shears and see what I can do. Okay, I don't think I can get a better angle than this, but it's probably not great. Um, so hopefully if whatever I'm doing looks like it's going terribly and it's a terrible idea, it's because of the camera angle and nothing else. <laughs> I'm not going to actually comb out my hair because that will just make it poofy, which is a b bad idea. B the b b b bad. Um, so I want to make sure I set my kind of natural split and then put it in and I'm going to try just cut it. Should I just cut it? This is a bad idea. This is probably a terrible idea. I'm scared. So, like, I'm gonna start low. I could stop now. The reason I'm doing it like this is because if I, um, straighten it out or, or whatever, like it's so curly, I want to be able to make sure I can see its actual height because or length because I don't want it to be so short I can't put it in a ponytail. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna try putting it in like if I go that because <laughs> I was filming that. Turns out I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think that would be a basic skill, but nope. I feel like if I do that, I, I won't be able to see like what link I'm taking off. Okay, back. So just for some context, I've cut my own hair before, and the thing I've learned is that my hair is thick enough and dark enough and curly enough it can cover a multitude of sins. Right now it's not that curly, it's more frizzy, but I ain't gonna worry about it. I think, like, do I cut nothing there? It doesn't cut all out naturally. That's gonna be interesting for this experiment. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, like, I'm not too worried about messing it up, because even if I mess it up, it shouldn't be that bad looking, and it should fix itself fairly quickly. And so, as long as I don't get too aggressive, I should be able to just go around like this and then like trim anything I miss in a little bit shorter. So this may well do is pull out like this and just pull that back. Here's one I'm going to do 
this morning, I think. And go. Okay, so we're gonna cut this section first. Last time I cut my hair, um, it was a lot longer to start with. But what happened was I just did it like over in one ponytail and I think maybe turned it over my head or something. Um this chopped and what happened was I ended up with like it was fine in the back and probably about here in length or something I don't remember exactly and then I had like this front piece which was a bit shorter than this and so like the joke was for a while that I had anime hair um, and I would just leave the short part out of the ponytail and so like I said I'm kind of just banking on the fact that my hair can kind of just cover it up like this is probably not the best way to cut my hair but I don't think it will go too terribly wrong as long as I don't accidentally cut my throat <laughs> you know just casual concerns as you have or do or whatever um one way I think with doing it this way is that the hair uh, maybe I'll try this Point cutting. If this one strand is just way less curvy than curly than the rest, and I'm like, what's your deal? Um, I think I'm gonna call it good for that part for now, and then let out a bit more. Kind of work my way around like this. The back is going to be a tad interesting. Judging how, whether I'm keeping it even or not, but. I might have to come back after a while because thing is for cutting this back part like my instinct is to tilt my head up so I can see it but of course that makes the hair uneven so I really need the side mirror so I can pull them out I can see if I can just set you guys up so you can see me okay so I don't think um, this is gonna work I want more moving for reality so I'm just gonna come back when this is finished hopefully I will see you and my hair will not look terrible but no guarantees. So the haircut is done and it is still long enough to put up into a ponytail so over overwhelming success because if it can do this we're fine no matter how terrible it looks. I didn't notice it seems like it's in a bit to the right and I don't know if that has to do with how I cut it or with just how I'm putting it up. And then wham! <laughs> That, um, I'm gonna get dizzy there. So, move you over here so you can kind of see the length I ended up with. Um, well, now it's a bit crazy because I did that. That was a poor idea, but, um, yeah, I think it came out fairly even. Like, the only thing is maybe the back. I, I can't see the back for obvious reasons. Um, like, I, I don't know, how, how do you show off hair? I don't watch your vloggers. Um, it's evidenced by the fact that I did that. <laughs> um, but the most important thing is it can go up in a ponytail and um, also I can put it half up and that looks cute. Um, like, I'm sure it's not perfect, but for doing it at home, I do wish I timed how long it took to do, but um, I'm happy with it. It, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's the right length, pretty much. For legal reasons, I cannot recommend this to anybody, because if it turns out terribly, which it could, I don't want to be blamed. I'm really just happy because 
it's shorter and like even though it's only a couple inches of actual difference like it's up off my shoulders and off most of my neck and it just feels so much lighter and like I can go like this and slide my hair hand through my hair like super easily and it was during like, I hadn't really noticed it but it had definitely gotten long enough that I couldn't do that as well and I just love being able to just run my hand through my hair super easily. Right now it's pretty poofy because um, in maneuvering around and trying to get it where I could cut it without cutting my neck, it um, lost all of its form and now it's just kind of woof, woof, woof. But um, yep. And bunny hairs, yay!